we're going to have a quick look at the everyday maintenance that can be done to your saxophone to keep the finish and pads in optimal condition. Uh, firstly, looking at the crook, um, the cork on the crook, um, if your mouthpiece is tight to put on, and there is a risk that we can force it and bend the crook, so we don't want to do that. So making sure it's got a little bit damp to the touch, it's got grease on there is very important. If it is a bit dry, or the grease is a few weeks old and can do a changing, with a bit of kitchen roll, wipe off the old stuff. That'll help it to not attract more dirt in the long run. Tiny bit on your finger, and just replace that, and then it's good to go. So after playing, um, I like to take the mouthpiece off to air, and then the crook. Um, so to get the moisture out of the sacks, this is where we put a pull through down. This is a style with a weight and a string, which simply goes down the sacks like this. Then we go for a fish around in the bell. And then the brush at the top can sometimes be a little bit stiff. I like to linger and pull slowly. Just make sure the moisture comes out. You can do that a couple of times just to make sure it's all nice and dry inside. You can get a style of pull through like a fluffy basil brush tail, um, but we don't recommend those. Um, if you leave the wet um, pad saver in the sacks, you're not removing the moisture from the sacks. So leaving it in there actually isn't that good for your pads. So we always recommend a way to string pull through. You can get a separate pull through for your crook. Um, which is a smaller version. If you use the body one on your crook, it will get stuck <laughs> and need surgically removing. So you can get a smaller version that just pulls through your crook to help keep that nice and dry. Then your end stop would go in. And I like to, just before it goes back in the case, with just a microfiber cloth, give it a quick wipe down to get all my fingerprints off. I'd recommend doing that at least once every few weeks and that'll help keep your um, lacquer finish in nice, good condition. Thank you. We don't sell those here. They call them pad savers, but actually it leaves the moisture 